What's going on everyone, Kellen Rec here. And today I wanna to show you how to export videos at the highest possible quality for Instagram and any other social media app. Let's do it. So have you ever had that problem where you upload a video to Instagram and it just doesn't look good, it's really compressed, it looks like garbage, it's not what you intended it to look like. Well, in this video, we're gonna solve that problem for you. I'm gonna show you exactly how to export a video out of Adobe Premiere Pro to give you the best looking results when you upload it to Instagram and any other social media app. So let's jump onto the computer, we'll dive into Premiere, we'll walk through an example of some of the export settings that I use when I'm uploading or when I'm exporting for social media, and uh, hopefully this will change the way your results turn out. I think you're gonna really like how it looks. Let's jump onto the computer. So I'm here in Adobe Premiere Pro, and I have this clip of a time-lapse of the city of Boston. Really nice clip. Now obviously, this was shot with a number of images, so the quality is 8 plus K, 8K plus, really big. So if I just exported this as is, it's not gonna look great on Instagram. And this is one of the reasons that a lot of your videos may not be looking the way you want them to look on Instagram, because the files are just too big for the platform. Instagram doesn't like any true HD videos. They're just too high quality. Now, photos obviously look great because you can get a high quality rich photo at a much smaller file size than a true HD video. So when you upload that true HD video to Instagram, Instagram compresses it, starts to make it look pixelated, doesn't quite look how you want it to look. So the solution is sizing your video exports to be the proper size for Instagram, giving them a lower bit rate so that they still maintain high quality, but they're a smaller file size. Instagram then has less compression to do, leaving you with a better visual result at the end. So here's what we're gonna do. I'm going to start by dragging this clip onto my timeline. And you can see I have a very nice looking time lapse here. So what I'm gonna do is adjust my sequence settings. Right now the sequence is the native file size of this video. I wanna reduce that size. So I'm gonna go sequence, sequence settings. And the first thing I wanna do is have my editing mode set to custom. I want my time base to be 23.976. Now my frame size is again, the size of this video. I need to make this much smaller. For this particular video, I'm gonna make it a square export. So I'm gonna make my frame size 1080 by 1080. If you were gonna be doing a 16 by nine video, which is a pretty standard video size, you would want it to be 1920 by 1080. In this case, we're going square, which is a pretty common upload format on Instagram these days. So I'm going 1080 by 1080. Everything else can remain as is, and you'll hit okay. Now, our framing should resize to a square. So what we'll need to do here is click on our clip, go to effects controls, and scale this down so that it fits properly within our frame, filling the screen all the while. Great, so now I have a square time-lapse. I'm gonna set an in at the beginning, an out at the end, and if we watch it play back, you can see we have a lovely looking time-lapse in square form, ready to export for Instagram, very high quality, and we wanna maintain that moving forward. So this is the big part of the video, the export settings. So you'll click and go to File Export, Export Media, and here is where the fun begins. So the first thing that we're gonna wanna do, this is all gonna happen in the Video tab. I actually don't have audio on this clip, so I'm gonna uncheck my export audio. If you do have audio, you will leave the export audio checked, and that should be fine as is. Now the video is where we wanna make some adjustments. Our format is gonna be H.264. This is a nice, smaller format file size for internet streaming. We're gonna leave our, or move our preset to custom, and then you can change your output name and you can change where you want that to go. I will just say time-lapse Instagram. You can call that what you want. Just make sure you know where it's exporting to. We're then gonna head down to the basic video settings. Now I want my resolution to pull from the sequence settings that we made before. So I'll just check this box. That'll make it the 1080 by 1080 that we set earlier in the video. My frame rate is good at 23.976. Field order and aspect ratio are all good. I do want to check the render at maximum depth box. That is great. Now, when we go to profile here, I wanna adjust that to be main for profile and I want the level to be 3.1. 
So make those adjustments. You want main for profile and level to be 3.1. You're then gonna wanna go to your bitrate encoding and set this to CBR. That is a constant bitrate. If you don't know much about bitrate, I have a whole video on that that I'll link above. You can learn a lot more about how bitrate works to affect the quality of your videos. In this case, we're gonna want it to be a constant bitrate, and I want my target bitrate to be 10. Scroll back down, nothing that you need to do here. And then the final thing that you wanna check is use maximum render quality. So you'll check that box. And finally, we can hit export. Now, when you wanna actually upload this to Instagram, I'd recommend a few things. If you're using a Mac, I would suggest air dropping the video to your phone before uploading from a mobile device. If you send it to yourself via iMessage, there will be some compression. iMessage does a lot of compression when it comes to video. So you wanna airdrop to preserve any issues there, or you could send it as a Dropbox and download it directly to your phone. Now you can see the clip that I have right here that we took. Looks very nice and clean, crisp, smooth, looks fantastic. One other option that you have to upload videos to Instagram that will preserve high quality video is actually go to the website, instagram.com, click on the IGTV tab, and click the upload button. Now this is a nice move if you have large IGTV files that you want to upload directly to the website. And this is gonna be a much better way to upload these large files than it would be to do using your phone. You can come in here, you can title it, you can add your metadata, and you can go ahead and just click your file. And this is a fantastic, fantastic way. It's gonna be a much faster upload. It's going to preserve high quality detail, especially if it's one of those minute plus videos that you can upload to IGTV. A really, really good way to use the web browser. So by doing this combination of these export settings with either the airdropping to yourself um, or using the web viewer to upload, you're gonna really start to see much, much higher quality videos uploaded to your Instagram. Now, let me show you a few of these on my account. You can see just how high the quality can be. You get some marvelous looking time lapses. You start to get really crisp video when you're doing it in this method. You can see you start to get some really, really nice and smooth details in the video exports that you're doing, you're not gonna get as much of a compressed, problematic bitrate situation because the videos are too high quality to go to Instagram. These are a little bit down res and they're gonna look a lot nicer. So if you guys enjoyed this video, go ahead and leave a like down below, write a comment, let me know what you thought. Subscribe to the channel for more weekly content and we'll check you back in the next one.